Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another review. In this episode, we'll be talking about Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Again, in attempts to grow my channel, I've decided to branch out not just to Steven Universe, but to this show as well, which finally started up after, a, I think, a pretty long hiatus. Um, again, this is one of my more casual view reviews, unlike my Double-Edged Sword series. So, expect a more relaxed, just talking... I'll basically just go through the plot of the episode... Talking about points and things that I noticed during it. Let's get right into it. So, we got two episodes today. The first one was, um, My New Wand. Which, okay, so it starts off with, um, of course, Star has got her new wand. She's show, it basically, through a series of events, it basically flies around, goes all crazy, and traps Marco in her closet. Glossarisks. Basically, Glossarisk has taken it, and he's manip. I noticed he's manipulating everyone through this entire episode because he's just using them to get a good look at the wand. Because like when he's talking to Marco and he gives Marco that riddle, like "Oh, find the secret," he says like "Oh, find the secret to stir the broth." He knows exactly what he's doing, and he's in control the entire time. We see Star is not good with metaphors because, of course, he's trying. A glossaric, right? Is trying to explain this whole digging deep, finding inner power thing, and Star is not good with metaphors because Glossaric makes no sense. Um, her she calls her mother, which I did like that. I like that the mother is involved, right? She's not against asking for help, I'd say. And yeah, again, she doesn't understand metaphors in the slightest. Um, I will be honest. I didn't really like the comedy. I, I, well, I didn't hate... There were two or three good jokes, but everything else was just kind of... Uh. I I mean, I... I Again, I remember this show... I just re recently rewatched the entire show. It was really funny. I don't know. I just didn't laugh. I, I wanted to more than I could. But yeah, so... But yeah, that, that was just something I noticed, and I don't really take... I still, I still like this episode. I just didn't think it was that funny. From there, um, Glossarix, of course, looking around the wand, he goes inside, we see the unicorn that jumped in, because, uh, yeah, because the wand exploded, we see the unicorn jumped in, we get this really cool shot of, like, him going back and forth between the good star and the broken part, but yeah, inside there's this unicorn and it's all evil, clearly showing the wand is broken. That's... Again, I, that's the plot. That's going to be the overarching, overarching plot of the se season, I bet, is getting back the other half of the wand, which we'll get into that. But, so, Marco's looking for the secret, and he finds Star's diary. I like where this is, right? I like, again, uh, Glossarix manipulating them just to look at the wand, and sh he starts reading the diary, and Star is finally able to dip down, basically get her inner power, and unlock the door. And the inner power reminds me a lot of, like, when she tried to, when she broke the glass case in the season one finale. Again, I think it's something similar, but not entirely the same thing. I like that shot, though. That was really interesting. But yeah, this is basically just set up. I, I did like this. It's interesting to see where everything is going, because now... Because the first half, uh, the first, real, really the first season, up until the Toffee, didn't, it was just kind of very lighthearted. But now it's really starting to get serious, and I hope it doesn't go too far. I hope it sticks to its roots a lot, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. But we got another episode here. This... Oh, this is a weird one. So this was Ludo in the wild. Basically, Ludo goes out. Basically, he's out floating in space. He gets hit by some cosmic destiny and smacked down back onto a planet. He's trapped out in the wild. And, yeah, it's... Again, I didn't... F I, mi I laughed maybe once. And that had to do with the birds. Because at one point, this bird like keeps dropping him. I didn't find it funny. I just found this part really odd. Because this is all about Ludo. Like, he comes across the spider who's right, who's surviving in the wild, and he tames it. He uses the chips, he fights and beats the spider, and then tames it 
And then he goes on he, with the once the spider he's tamed the spider he uses a spider to tame the bird from earlier, and it's basically Ludo's rebirth. He's gone. He he goes out. He's adventuring because right Ludo in basically in the first season once they introduced Toffee just became a two rate second hand villain. Really, he didn't really do. Much. He wasn't. He was never powerful or threatening, and I still don't kind of think he is. But they're clearly trying to reinvent him. He's trying to get more of a... There's something... He's going to clearly have a bigger thing. Because at the end, he finds he finds the second half of the star with a wand that is glowing towards him. And you always see like that cosmic destiny. Like when he gets pushed back into the portal, that's this green glowing thing. When Star shows up at his camp... There, right before that happens, there's a green meteor, meteor overhead. He's clearly being called to the second half of the wand. This is magical destiny right here. And he finds out he was on Muni the whole time. There's our twist. If it kind of was... I was kind of obvious. Kind of. But yeah, again, they're reinventing Ludo to be more of the villain. Which I'm not against, but they really... Because Toffee was a really great villain. So they really have to put in some work to make Ludo th- like really like compare to that, which I think they can. They're just going to have to put a lot of effort. And I and I have a lot of hopes, but this is just a se- this is just the start of a season. We still got a lot more to go. I will admit I am ex- I am excited even if the second episode the Ludo in the Wild episode didn't do much for me. I I am still excited. I want to see where they're going to take this. And that's what matters. That viewer retention and all. But yeah, so it's, it's just an interesting start to the season. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for more. Until then, peace.